Growing up, I grew up in a very sporty and very musical family. Um, both of my grandmas sing in choirs, uh, and one of my grandmas was actually a music teacher. Um, and then I started to play the guitar because my dad played the guitar. Um, and you know, when I was young, every Sunday he used to like, he used to teach me chords and songs and stuff like that. So I've just progressed from there, really. And then on the sports side of things, I, um, I've always played football. My family are very, very big football fans. We go to all the Man City games and I used to play for my school, um, every school growing up really, no matter if it was in Thailand, Singapore, America, always put myself in. Played hockey um, and also golf. My whole family loved golf, so it's really nice. On family holidays, like me, my dad, my brother, grandpa, uncle, cousins, we all just go down and we have like a family golf day, which is great. As a kid, I've, I've always been singing and uh... Yeah, since I can remember, and uh, I think I remember uh, I, I've heard that uh, my preschool teacher actually said, "Oh, he has such a pure voice and stuff like that." And it's it, it's funny to hear actually. My both of my parents are mus musicians as well. Um, my mom is a singer, and my dad is playing the bass. I started to play the guitar when I was about maybe 13 years old, and I went to the guitar school once a week uh, for like 30 minutes and it didn't like, give me that much, but uh, it opened my interest to mu music even more and, uh, and to, the, uh, to the guitar playing. And, um, and I think I learned the guitar for real at home by myself. But I just got the, as I said, the interest from, I just got the interest from uh, the music school. Yeah, my childhood was really great. Um, I was a really happy child and uh, my mom always Say that it was really easy to handle, and um, yeah, I, what was I doing in my childhood? Um, I did a lot of stuff with my friends, like um, playing football, go outside, um, play tennis. Yeah, I played tennis for about seven, eight, nine years, something like this, and. Um, yeah, I went to a lot of fun parks and uh, I went to a lot of countries with my mom, like uh, Africa, um, Holland, uh, stuff like this. So um, I got a very, very great childhood, I think. I was a lucky one. I've always been like a pretty cool kid, you know. <laughs> In, but true. <laughs> um, no, I don't know. It's just. I've always had. I don't know, I've always been surrounded by my friends. I've always loved spending a lot of time with my friends. Um, so, yeah, family, friends. I used to live, I, I live anyway, on the coast. So, summer, sun, going to the beach a lot. Um, all the, you know, all the kind of, you know, summer was great all the time. And, uh, I don't know to say about my childhood it was just uh, I had a really nice childhood I'm happy with that <laughs> and all the things that I've done in my childhood kind of brought me to what I am today so um, I'm really happy about all, all the things that happened don't regret anything when I was a kid I was a sweet kid in my opinion and my mother also told me that I was the sweetest kid of our three we, I got two older sisters and I was also a really creative kid. I make a lot of things and I am um, acting and I also wanted to entertain people. And I also wanted to attend uh, a TV show on my age and I wanted to act like Lion Ritchie. Because I don't know why, but I thought when I was young, I, I, that was my idol when I was young. So it was really cool and I started to sing when I was around 12 years old and my first performance was on high school and I sung with uh, other people uh, high school musical because <laughs> I was a really fan of it and yeah it was quite cool because that was an audience like 200 people so it was the first time when I was 12 years old my first performance was for 200 people. We are ready for our first exclusive acoustic performance but we haven't decided in which country to perform yet. You can make the difference. All you have to do is send an email to the biggest teen magazine in your country and make them write an article about the United. Yeah, and uh, once the article is out, uh, contact us at, at the United Tweet or our official Facebook page and uh, yeah, make us see the article. 
We will choose the best article and come to that country to do our very first exclusive acoustic performance for every friend who helped us get in the article. So, if you want to see us perform in your country, start writing to your team magazines and hopefully we'll see you soon. Thanks a lot for all your supporting so far and keep following us on Twitter, Facebook and YouTube and spread the word about us because it's really important for us. And yeah, thanks a lot and keep watching our episodes.